This is one of the UIOFZ signs I am proposing for ATM machines and before I explain it, I would like to first point out some of the pain problems with the design at ATM machines today. The issue with the design in today's machine is that it is a multifaceted design that requires customers to progress through multiple screens to get what they need. This is an experience that gets overwhelming over time. The first time is fine, but the, after the third time it is overwhelming. Here I'm trying to make a withdrawal and I have to progress through several screens just to get just to get to the screen where I specify the amount I need. Uh, it's not a bad experience, but I think this could be better. This is a different machine from a different financial institution. I was trying to make a withdrawal. I was presented with one screen that had several quick cash options for me to select the desired option. None of them met my needs, so I had to remove my site from the screen in order to use the physical number pad of the machine to specify the amount I really needed. And this, this was an experience that seriously disrupted my flow. This is the reason why the machine should have the number pad on the screen. And this is also the reason why the quick cash options are not always a good solution. This is one of the UIOX design concepts I am proposing for ATM machines and I'm going to show you how simple and consistent the user experience is. I am going to show you how they innovate over the current design on ATM machines today. Uh, this is, the main innovation of this design is that this is a single facet design with a linear flow user experience. And what I mean by single facet is that this is a design that does not require customers to progress to multiple screens to get what they need. And what I mean by linear flow is that the user journey of submitting a, a transaction always begins at the top and finish at the bottom for, for all transactions. For any type of transaction, the user journey always begins at the top and finish at the bottom. For example, if I need to make a withdrawal, I simply select the withdrawal option, select the account, specify the amount, submit, and confirm my transaction. If I need to make a transfer, I simply select the transfer option, I specify the source account, I specify the destination account, I specify the amount, I submit and confirm my, tra my transaction. If I need to make a deposit, I simply select the deposit option, select the account, I insert my deposit, I submit and confirm my transaction. To send money to friends and family, I simply come here to the quick pay option. I specify the amount I want to send to each particular person. I can send this amount or request this amount to this person. Uh, let's go with the send option. I select the payment option and confirm my transaction. And this is how simple and consistent the user experience of this design is. Uh, the, by consistency, I mean that it has the same user experience, the same user, user journey for executing any type of transaction. Similar to a calculator, uh, as you know, a, a calculator has the same user experience for multiplying, for dividing, for adding, and for subtracting. For subtracting. And this is the same here. I try, I, I'm trying to emulate the simplicity and consistency of a calculator in a design for ATM machines. This is why the, it has the same user experience, the same feel for executing transfers, for executing withdrawals, for executing deposits, and for executing uh, quick pay transactions. Another innovation of this design is that this is a multi-platform consistent design that can be on the machine and also in the mobile application. And the benefit of this is that users will enjoy the same simple user-friendly experience at the machine and at the mobile application, which is something they cannot do today because the machine and the mobile, and the mobile application have a totally different design. Another benefit of this design is that this is a modular design. And what I mean by modular is that this is a design that uh, adapts to meet, to meet the needs and preferences of the customer. For example, this is a two account configuration for customers that have two accounts. For customers that have three accounts, this is a three account configuration. 
And for customers that have four accounts, this is a four account configuration. Uh, this is another four account configuration. And this is a six account configuration. And here is another two account configuration. Here is another two account configuration. And here is another two account configuration. And here is a single account configuration for customers that, that only have one account. Let's say for those, for those customers that only have a checking account, this will be a configuration for these customers. Uh, the customer also has the freedom to change the service buttons here at the top, these buttons. Uh, for example, the customer can go with, the, with just the three most common services. Let's say that this is the default of the machine, the three most services, the three most common services, uh, but the customer can change it to this configuration instead or to this configuration. The customer also has the freedom to change the uh, top bar here, the content in the top bar. For example, if the customer can go with this top bar, if the customer want to easily access his finances and view his notifications, the customer can go with this top bar. The customer can also simply select this top bar, his, a photo of himself and his name, and hide everything else in a menu here. The customer can also go with this top bar, which displays his total balance, has a photo of himself and hides everything else here in a menu. The customer can also go with this top bar and place a, another, another top bar here at the bottom. For example, the customer can have this configuration where he can easily access his finances and his notifications. And this is the reason why single facet multi-platform consistent designs will become the new standard adopted by financial institutions. The experience is just much more simpler, much more consistent. It, is, it has a much lower cognitive load and it is universally inclusive.